Why does the bad guy for this game have a game indent? Listen, I've played probably every Far Cry game there's been at this point, and I genuinely couldn't tell you what the connective membrane between each of these games in the series is, and at this point I don't think Ubisoft could tell you either. Like, if we go down the list at every entry, we have White Guy's Holiday gets catastrophically ruined, Local Mercenary learns that Africa is an inherently flammable country, White Guy's Holiday gets catastrophically ruined, Hey, Handsome Jack did pretty good in that one video game, a scathing view of the deepest flaws of the United States of America, and nine cutscenes of Giancarlo Esposito. Also, Blood Dragon. I mean, I guess you could argue that hunting and just wanton animal death is the thing that binds them all together, but that's only really been a thing since Far Cry 3. I mean, god, you kill so many animals in these games. It, uh, just knowing the options there, it's, uh, it's, 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 um, it's all kinds of, uh... <laughs> okay, baldy boy hits wire, head comes off, little bandit rolls to a gentle stop. Everybody wins. Hostiles on the perimeter, a well-guarded compound. This is a job that needs a delicate touch. Alright, watch me roast the fuck out of these guys. Come here! Wait, hold on. Shit, which button is it? Is it F? G? Wait. No, it's got a fucking... No, hold on. It's... Okay. Well, that's rock. That's... Not exactly what I wanted, but it's the same- No, that's- that's- that's entirely unhelpful. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Normally I make fun of a game for having AI that's so stupid that it can't see an enemy two inches from their face, but when you think that these guys are literally blinded by their own religious ideologies... Man... Really makes you think. Also, I figured out which button was the grenade button, by the way. It's middle mouse. HA <laughs> HA! Should I? Should I? Should I? Uh, no. Ain't I a stinker? Yo, come here. I got some goodies you can use against the cult. Just watch your step as you come up. Yeah, all right, let's see what you got. You know, compared to the other Far Cry games, I feel like there's a lot that Far Cry 5 does right. Like, I feel as though having a silent protagonist through the game really lets the villains speak for themselves, both metaphorically and literally. Like, Far Cry 6 giving you a named protagonist, but then also spending the rest of their time focusing on all the side characters and whatever the shit the main villains got going on, it just meant that I didn't really care about any of them. Except Chorizo, of course. Also, I never really understood why they gave your character a rocket launcher backpack in the sixth one. I feel like that was an executive at Ubisoft going like, Hey, Overwatch does ultimate abilities when you charge up the, the, the meter bar. We gotta do that too, I guess. Also, the game had a weird obsession with having you collect uranium to power up your guns. What? Also, and this is just a personal gripe that has no basis in reality, but why does the game give you character customization options, but then forces you to play a character who has a codified name and backstory? Like, either let me create a character and make them purely my own, or just give me a character to play. They're like, yes, you can have this character reflect you personally, except for their name, location, political affiliations, backstory, motivations, marital status. I mean, Far Cry 6 is still pretty good, though. I, I really gotta go back and finish. Is that a pig? Well, that's deeply upsetting. Yo, check out this sick fucking stunt. Shoo pa Aww. It's okay, don't worry, guys. My dog's gonna save me. Miko, no! Wait, that's the dog from Skyrim. Who's this guy? Alright. Wait, what the... What? Hello? Why can't I fucking move this thing? What? 
What do you mean there's no default control bound to reverse? You're telling me that in the stock standard controller setup for Far Cry 5, it, it just lacks the ability to make a car go backwards. Look at it, there's none! Where is it? Okay, so I guess you can change it so that the entire locomotion for an automobile is purely handled on the left stick. That sounds very straightforward and easy to manage. Okay, you know what, on second thoughts, this is actually frighteningly realistic to my driving ability. Oh, jeez. Oh, god. You know what? Fuck this. This is entirely untenable. Yo, check it out. I'm about to turn this guy into a fine red mist. Oh. That was arguably more upsetting. Oh, fuck. I should probably save those guys, shouldn't I? Job done. Keep your rifle by your side Singing Oh lord, this surf was made for us Singing Oh lord, this simple life just ain't enough And when you hear that point You know you've had no other choice But keep your rifle by your side You know they made an entire album of country cult music for this game? I'm serious. It fucking slaps, too. That's actually how I first got interested in the game, because Spotify recommended the album to me, and I was deeply concerned. Here is a recreation of that very moment. I'm choosing not to psychoanalyze the fact that Spotify thought this was a song that I would enjoy, and I'm also choosing not to psychoanalyze the fact that it was. Look, to summarize my thoughts, sometimes you just want to sit down and play a video game. Like the bare bones base concept of what a video game is, you know what I mean? And I find that whenever I'm in one of those particular moods, Far Cry is the game franchise for me. It's an open world shooter in every sense of the definition. It's got guns, it's got cars, and you can't go two steps in any direction without finding something to shoot at or be shot by. You know what, the story's usually pretty good too, especially in Far Cry 5, I think. But also, as you can see in the last, however long this video ends up being, you can also just run around and shoot a bunch of guys and just... I... Yeah.